testing one two three hey guys welcome back to another exciting video with Stramasta and today we are going to discuss ALS and the gameplay ability system and don't worry guys for you non coders out there it's not that hard it's a simple looking at the code and just putting it in it's boilerplate code at uh, its elementary level which means that when you first start to do gas, the way they've set it up at Epic is that a lot of it is just boilerplate. So you just need the ability to get it going, okay? And then later, a lot of the functionality is exposed, is exposed to blueprints. So we will be making our uh, stuff in blueprints or so our tags, our abilities, we can make that all in blueprints. The backbone of this ability system that I have made and customized it out to be is for single player. So multiplayer guys, maybe in the future, I will do a video on that. Without any further ado though, guys, let's get started. All right, so there's a few things that you're going to need before you get started. The first thing that I would do if I were you is I would go to the plugins uh, I, uh, edit in plugins and then I would click on and type in or type it in gameplay abilities and just click it and then that should turn everything on okay so <clears throat> if you if you did that and you restarted then you should be able to see something maybe like this okay gameplay abilities so let's 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 dive into it right now all right so now what you're going to need to do what you're going to need to do is go to the ALS plugins file okay I'm assuming though I'm assuming that you've already installed ALS if you haven't installed ALS CPP uh, you can go to the community website and you can download it and it has instructions on how to install it I didn't do any changes with it so the only thing that uh, you'll need to do is everything that we're doing will go in the ALS base and I'll explain it after this video of why it has to go in the base well obviously it's a parent class but I'll just explain it later in a lot more detail so the first thing that you want to do after I mean the second thing that you want to do after you've activated it in a real editor is come here to the build file and you want to turn it on in the plugin right here as I've got it right here okay so you want to turn it on and the way you turn it on is you just type it in gameplay abilities and we're probably gonna need gameplay ability tags and gameplay ability task now you're all you also want to make sure that it is here and the additional dependencies gameplay abilities and then uh, name gameplay abilities and enable true Okay, uh, if you're confused, you can just pause the video and pick off where I uh, left off. But let's go ahead and let's move on. All right, so you're going to want to add the includes for ability gameplay ability and then the abilities uh, system uh, interface. And if you don't have these, unfortunately, it's not going to work because it's highly dependent on the I ability system interface that you need. And you'll need to put it over here. Okay. So don't forget that. Now, the next thing that you will need to do going down the list is you will need to make this virtual class here and you will need to make it a pointer and get the ability system component override, the cunts override. And naturally it will just return the ability system that's all it does it just returns it so if you don't have this it's it's not going to work so let's just go down all right so let me let's see here I will go to one of these and the first thing I like to do is I like to go into the constructor because you can kind of see uh, what's actually going on if you don't know what a constructor is uh, definitely check out some of Unreal Learning stuff or uh, maybe in my videos of the Unreal Framework you can check that out too but uh, what happens is you can create sub objects in that constructor and so we what we're gonna do is we're gonna create actually the component for the 
ability system right here and don't pay attention to this one because this one is the attribute and this is for another video that I will go over with you guys but uh, going back to this ability systems component if we go over here I've actually like created it down here and I've actually uh, said visible anywhere blueprint read only category and I've, I put it into a category let's see oh shouldn't be in this category it should actually be in the ability category so let's see let me just change that around okay <clears throat> and I'll probably need to save it later but for time's sake it should be in the ability category so then we create some new properties right here and and don't worry about this one because I haven't gone over it I don't want to go over this mana and health stuff right now but I will in later videos uh, the main things that you want are you property ability system uh, component you ability system component because this is the one we put in the constructor and then you also want to create a T array of T subclass of the U game play abilities and it's gonna ask you for that include that was at the top okay also another thing you're going to need going to need is the possess control a uh, gas related uh, virtual uh, controller <clears throat> override you're just gonna need it so go ahead and put it in right here okay so that we've got those out of the way let's go to let me just go back up here also let's see let's just go down to let me just go to any one of these right here okay so instead of putting it down there because it was gas related i just i wanted to put it where the input was at in the als where they were setting it up so these are our abilities right and then this ability index is what we're working on working with and there's actually a uh, class hold on i can show you it's called uh, try active ability by class and so all of these are like the ability functions and it just goes down the list so if you want to add another ability all you have to do is uh, copy this one and then rewrite it to fifth ability and you can also make these into enums I just thought that this was really cool for single player because it kind of keeps it clean so you can have a whole list of abilities and you can get pretty creative with them but this is just for activating them so then uh, this one is the one that you'll need and basically it checks the ability index and uh, it acquires the abilities and then it goes to the try get active abilities by class and uh, we can see it in the editor so it's pretty it's pretty cool but um, I've decided to hard code them you know we're not doing multiplayer we're not doing any like real extensive long game so I like like the epic guy said he liked all of his input clean and so he just thought enums were really cool because it was clean well I think that this is really cool because it's clean uh, for me for what I'm trying to do so anyways let's move on so what we're looking at here is the try active ability try active ability functions all right here and all I've done is I bound them so that I can just put them in my input okay so if you go to the project settings and you go to you go to the project settings and you go to let me see here my computer's kind of laggy you go to project settings you go to the input and you can see it right here you just one two three four and it's all lined up right here okay all right so let's move on there's another thing that you need to do and this is uh, important it's to give the abilities you need to put it in the begin play and uh, it's just some boilerplate code right here but basically what it does is it just gives the abilities this is probably one of the simplest uh, implementations that I've seen so I liked it so I put it in here so right here it's just gonna give the ability and like I said we've already hard-coded or hard bounded them so <clears throat> we can see uh, each ability in the editor okay all right so let's move down let's move down the list let's make sure that we have all of our bases covered in here and let's see just go down the input 
Okay. So I could actually, if I was looking back, I could actually just throw the input right here because it has it. So for clean for readability, probably on the next video, I'll talk about how to make it more readable inside of ALS because there's a lot of clutter. And uh, unfortunately, uh, that's just the way it is. But as programmers, we can try to make it uh, more readable later in the future. So let me just let me just look for what I was looking for. Just give me one second here. Yeah. So this possessed by. Uh, let's go over to the function, and here it is. It just makes a call to the parent. Remember, super is called to the parent, and it's possessed by a new controller if ability system component. Then it will refresh the actor info. Okay, if you don't know what that means, all you need to do is go to decoration and usage, and then you can check it out over here. It's it basically checks the ability actor info is valid. The actor info is valid. Then um, let's see. It will get the ability and the avatar, and then it will get this ability system. Okay, so it's 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 this the possessed by it's on the controller. Okay, all right. So this is just something for you guys to look at. If you don't understand it, again, you can just go inside the ability system component, and you can look at the engine uh, source code and try to read it. Okay, so. Uh, that this seems like it's most of the stuff that you need to get started uh, maybe uh, in the later videos I will make just a PowerPoint for you guys just to be like step one step two step three and step four and step five step six I'll put those all in a PowerPoint I just wanted to show you guys uh, just like how it looks live so let's let's move on here all right so we've talked about the code now it's time to get into the actual mix of things okay so with that said what i have set up today is this and it's actually you've got your ability right here you've got this ability and you've got another ability and you know the cool thing about the ability system is is that there's a cooldown in it so if you hit multiple if you hit multiple uh buttons like i'm doing it's not gonna it's not gonna let you do that and this is what I wanted to bring out is that like if you really study hard and try to understand gas there's actually a benefit with it because you can actually uh, ooh that's not good it, that, oh I guess that was the sword collision the I have to turn off or whatever because it just bounced off but it, it's it's a collision from that sword that's pretty funny just bounce off the wall <laughs> boom just bounce off the wall okay so anyways um, like I said before the really cool thing about gas is that uh, you can uh, create your own customization of gas. And look, on the bright side, we can ignore everything in ALS and just use our custom uh, gas component. And just, uh, let's see, just to put some of the information here, let's see. Uh, let's see, that will be for the next video. Uh, let's see here. Just go to blueprints, character logic. Ah, here it is right here. So if you look, the ability system's right here, like I said before. And if you actually look at this top one, you can see that it's abilities to acquire, like we looked at in code. And you can just like add them in as you go add the functions in and unfortunately with this setup if you're missing a function over here it will go out to null so make sure because since it's hard-coded that all your functions in this matches up if it doesn't and you try to hit the button it will crash your game okay that's the only thing with this sort of setup uh, with with gas and one more thing before I let you guys go and then I will have a second part of the video of this implementation okay so one more thing is that on the anim guy, everybody's wondering where you can set it up. I chose to create a slot and called it combat. And I just put it at the end of everything because I essentially told myself I'm not gonna use any of ALS's layer blends, their uh, animation layers. I'm not gonna use any of that. 
So I decided to put it at the end and this for this integration it worked well. It actually worked well. So uh, I'm going to cut the video off right now. In part two, I will be just going back over stuff, maybe cleaning up some of the input. And part two, I will also show you guys um, how I created one of the abilities. And actually, maybe we'll create our own ability and we'll add it to there. We'll put some sound on and I'll just show you how quickly you can get stuff done with gas. So like always, guys, I hope you have a good day. I hope your families are good. Thank you for watching my channel. And, you know, just enjoy your life, enjoy your family, and love everybody. And, and let's just try to make a better world, guys. And uh, let's try to learn from each other. And let's try to grow together. All right, guys. This is uh, Stramasta. And I'm just saying, all right, have a good one. And I look forward to hearing back from you in my next video. Look forward for you guys watching it. If you like this video, then please subscribe and uh, hit the like button and thank you because you know it helps me out a lot and I really appreciate every one of you guys. Okay, thank you. Bye.